I'm John. I'm a chemistry graduate student at UCLA. And now in this video, we're going to be going over some chemistry topics. Hope you find this useful and good luck in your course. Aldehydes and ketones show characteristics strong in paret absorption. In the region between 1630 and 1820 wave numbers or so. And so this is associated with the stretching vibration of the carbon oxygen double bond. So the large difference in electronegativity between carbon and oxygen leading to the correspondingly large dipole moment of the carbonyl group is the reason for the strong intensity of this IR absorption. Also, because few other bond vibrations absorb energy between 1630 and 1820 wave numbers, absorption in this region of the spectrum is a reliable means for confirmation of the presence of a carbonyl group. However, because several different functional groups contain a carbonyl group, it's often not possible to tell from absorption in this region alone whether the carbonyl containing compound is an aldehyde, a ketone, carboxylic acid, an ester, or an amide. However, other absorptions uh, for those other types of functional groups, such as the CO single bond stretch in an ester, can help distinguish between these groups. Aldehydes frequently have a weak but very distinctive absorption at 2,720 wave numbers. And this is caused by stretching of the CH of the CHO group that's shown here. Here I have shown an example in infrared spectrum of menthone. And as we see here from uh, the previous uh, explanation, this one very distinctive peak can be attributed to the carbon oxygen double bond stretch. Now, the exact position of this CO double bond stretch is very sensitive to the molecular environment of the carbonyl group. And this can be exemplified by looking at uh, these cycloalkanones. So cyclohexanone, all the way here on the left, has very little angle strain shows absorption at 1715 wave numbers. However, as the ring size decreases and angle strain increases, the carbon-oxygen double bond absorption shifts to higher frequency as shown by this series here. Another influence on the frequency or position of this C double bond O stretch is a result of conjugation. So conjugation is a situation in which two multiple bonds are separated by a single bond. So the presence of an adjacent carbon-carbon double bond or benzene ring in conjugation with the carbonyl group results in a shift of the carbon-oxygen double bond absorption. Now this will shift to a lower frequency as, she, as seen by comparing the carbonyl stretching frequencies for these molecules. Let's look at carboxylic acids now. So a carboxyl group gives rise to two characteristic absorptions in the IR spectrum. One of these occurs in the region of 1700 to 1725 weight numbers, and this is associated with the stretching vibration of the carbonyl shown here. Now this range of absorption is essentially the same for that of the carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones described previously, but it's usually broader in the case of carboxyl carbonyl because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. The other infrared absorption characteristic of a carboxyl group is a peak in the range of 2,500 to 3,300 wave numbers owing to the stretching vibration of the OH. Now, what this is going to do is often overlap the CH stretching absorptions. So the OH absorption is generally very broad as a result of hydrogen bonding between molecules of the carboxylic acid. Now, in our example here for acetic acid, the molecular structure shown uh, on the top right-hand side, we can see the OH uh, stretch as well as the C double bond O that I just described um, in this IR spectrum. So this is a very broad region that I just described for the OH stretching and then the strong, uh, somewhat broader carbonyl stretch that's found just past 1,600 wave numbers. Finally, we'll look at the IR spectra characteristics of derivatives of carboxylic acid. So the most important functional groups that fall in this category are amides, esters, anhydrides, and nitriles. 
Now, the functional group of a carboxylic ester, most commonly referred to as simply an ester, is a carbonyl group bonded to an OR group. So we're looking in particular at this guy right now. So we can note that one of the carbons of the COC group is sp2 hybridized, and the other is sp3 hybridized. So I'm talking about this carbon and this carbon. So esters displaying strong carbon-oxygen double bond stretching absorption within the range of 1735 wave numbers to 1800 wave numbers. Now, just like in ketones, this band is shifted to higher frequency and smaller rings and to lower frequencies uh, by adjacent double bonds, the conjugation. In addition, esters also display strong carbon-oxygen single bond stretching absorptions in the region of 1,000 to 1,100 wave numbers. Now, this is for the sp3 carbon oxygen stretch whereas the second one, sp2 carbon oxygen stretch, occurs in the region of 1200 to 1250 weight numbers. Now to go back, ethers in which one of the carbons bonded to the oxygen is sp2 hybridized also show this latter band. So here we can see an example of this ester. Uh, the molecular structure is shown up here in the top right. So we can see the CH stretching C double bond O, very prominent stretching for the carbonyl group. And then also we can see the C single bond O stretching. So we can pick that out for the carbon single bond O in which the carbon is sp3 and sp2 hybridized respectively. Now I have shown here the correlation table for the infrared absorption to molecules that contain these carbonyl groups. And so we have ketones, aldehydes, carboxylic acids, uh, the esters that I just described, and then also what I mentioned just briefly, the amides, uh, the acid anhydrides, and the nitriles. So the carbonyl stretching of amides occurs around 1630 to 1680 wave numbers at a lower frequency than for other carbonyl compounds, something to keep in mind. So here, primary and secondary amides show NH stretching in the region of 3,200 to 3,400 wave numbers. Primary amides usually show two NH absorptions, whereas secondary amides show only a single NH absorption. The acid anhydrides usually show two carbon oxygen double bond uh, or carbonyl stretching here. In addition, they show very distinctive carbon oxygen single bond stretching in the region of 900 to 1300 weight numbers. And then finally, the nitriles can be distinguished by a medium carbon triple bond nitrogen stretching absorption in the range of 2200 to 2250 weight numbers.